Richland County, where we're hearing from local leaders about renovations at the Richland County Jail, hiring, and the search for a jail director. News 19's Rachel Ripp joins us in studio with the details on what's going on. Rachel? Yes, JR, the Richland County Administrator tells me these jail upgrades don't happen overnight, but they're seeing signs of progress in elements of the kitchen, housing units, and lock system. Fixing the detention center or getting it where it needs to be is a process. It's a journey. It's not an event. The saga continues in renovating the Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center. Although Richland County leaders say jail changes that began last November will take well into mid-2024, progress is happening. At Tuesday night's detention center ad hoc committee meeting, Richland County Administrator Leonardo Brown showed council and the public a virtual tour of upgrades to the jail's kitchen floor, ceiling, and equipment. Complete, adding that the jail kitchen was one of the first infrastructure projects that was approved for renovation. Brown then went on to show pictures of improvements to lighting, design, and plumbing underway at their Yankee housing unit and special housing units, with 16 more units to renovate. I think today I'll probably, if I recall right, correctly, maybe sign two new uh, what we call personnel action forms to hire people on from the detention center. Although we previously reported that Brown said he expected to hire a new jail director by the end of last month, Brown now says the application window for a jail director remains open and that they're reviewing a pool of candidates for employment consideration. Brown's new timeline is 15 to 20 days from now. Extend a job offer, offer uh, accepted, notice given to the Department of Corrections uh, in uh, communicating who that facility manager is or the detention center director that individual then starts working. So that will be the, the remaining steps of the process. In Brown's meeting presentation, he added that the new jail locks with technology features will be installed starting next month. Whether or not the fencing will need to be upgraded in say, some shape, form, or fashion, uh, we haven't really started dealing with a lot of the external structure. A lot of our focus has been on the housing units for the detainees and the security with inside Avenue's Glen Detention Center. Now, Richland County leaders tell me the new stainless steel sinks and toilets in the jail will be firmly cemented into the wall, unlike before when the porcelain toilets could be pulled out of the wall, only attached to a pipe. They also say that the electronic programming of these new sinks and toilets can limit the number of flushes in a certain time frame to prevent cell flooding. Reporting in studio, Rachel Ripp, News 19, WLTX. Hi, right, Rachel, thank you so much. The meeting also touched on revisions to the animal services ordinance in Richland County. Council members say Richland County has a higher rate of putting animals down than surrounding counties. They say they want to change that by meeting with different animal groups and taking a look at practices and codes internally. 